guys, this is Ginger. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. So for those of you that are new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And for all my other subscribers, I want to say thank you for your continued support. So today's video is a review video by a company called Super Clean. This is not a sponsored video. So they sent me some free products in exchange for an honest review, um, which I'll be doing. So I've already cleaned everything. And right now I'm just working backwards so I'm doing the intro now um so I guess just stay tuned and enjoy the video but first let me go ahead and just show you which three products that I have from super clean so I have the tough task cleaner and degreaser so this one is the liquid form um and then I also have the tough task cleaner and degreaser uh spray foam so this is in the foam form okay so I'm assuming these are the same except for this one's foam, this one's liquid. But for me, I prefer the spray. For some reason, I like this one better. Okay. And then the other product we have is the Super Clean All Wheel Cleaner. So that's this right here. Okay. So all in all, I do like the products. Would I buy the products? Yes, I would especially this one okay and as far as the wood cleaner i don't know because i'm not really into cars and cleaning wheels and stuff like that but um so i'll ask babe if he really really liked this or not so i don't know we'll ask him and i'll insert it in later to let you guys know what he says about it um but yeah so let's see here and they have uh, a expanded line of products they have all wood cleaner they also have a floor absorbent the aerosol can and the foaming trigger. So I have everything except for the floor absorbent, okay? So this is the direction sheet and they give you all the, I guess the science behind or the mixing directions that you would use if you were to use it indoors, outdoors on the auto and RV and marine. So for example, the indoor use, you would use the full strength. And let's see, for example, on the drain, the floor as a wax remover, garbage disposal, ovens, scuff marks, and shop floors, you will use it in full strength, okay? If you use items such as the fireplace, shop equipment, stoves, um, stove hoods, and exhaust fans, tools, and workbenches. So you'll want to mix three parts water and one part super clean if you were to use it for your shop tools, okay? And then so you have your appliances, plastic blinds, pots, pans, tubs, showers, vinyl, wallpaper, stuff like that. So you want to do eight part water and one part super clean. Okay. So, and it goes on, the list goes on as you can see. All right guys, so let's just get into the demonstration of this product. So I'm going to first start with the shower rail. Area that I want to apply some of the super clean spray on is to my shower rail where it's rusted. So let me go ahead and this is what it looks like before. And I'm gonna spray some of this and see if I'm able to get the rust off. So I'm gonna let that sit on there. I decided to just go ahead and spray the entire shower curtain rod, which is what you see here. And it was, and it is pretty rusted, really bad as you can see right there. So I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit and then I'm gonna come back and show you guys what it looks like. It's coming off. Y'all can see what it looked like before in comparison to now. I'll show you what it looks like once I get everything cleaned up and hang up my shower curtain and stuff. Here's what it looks like up close for me. I mean, it's not 100%, but it's a good 80% because this was really rusty in the corner. Um, so I sprayed the foam as well as the degreaser, and then I used the um, Brillo pad. So I did that to both sides, as you can see right here. And like I said, it's not 100%, but for me, it looks like 100% because that was really rusted. So that looks really good. All right guys, so I'm getting ready to try to apply some of the super clean 
tough task cleaner degreaser onto my floor which i've already done so as you can see this is what the grout looks like before and then i want to see what it looks like after applying some of the chemical to the tile all right guys so i'm back i went and got the scrubber brush so that i can scrub up this little area and i guess this tile grout is a dark grout so i guess we won't be able to really see a difference with that You can see a difference so there are still scratches in the tile but they're not like dirty so you can't see the scratches if you can see what i'm talking about so here there's still scratches in the tile but they're not dirty so this still has dirt as well or dirt in the scratches but over here is clean so we'll look at the and compare the tile to see what they look like Let's see here. So the grout is pretty much still the same color. So it's a dark color grout. But this tile looks a lot better though. It pulls all the um, dirt out of the scratches in the material. So yeah, I would say this is a go for me. This stuff makes this floor really, really shiny and I like it. Like I said, if I, would I order it? Yes, I would. So, thank you, Super Clean. All right, guys, so just a comparison. So these two tiles had the Super Clean applied onto it in comparison to this tile here. As you can see, it's scraped up, scratched up, and scuffed. So this one has been scratched up, scuffed, and everything, and it doesn't look as bad as this tile. All right, so I'm getting ready to wipe the foam off. upstairs in the bathroom and as you can see straight up that there's a difference look at that so here is the little area where I applied the super clean and then look at the area that does not have super clean so that's a big difference so uh, yeah so it does clean the grout in between your tiles so you definitely be using this for uh, to clean the rest of this floor upstairs so when you use this, just be careful of the tile or the materials that you are applying. Super clean looks really good versus this one.
pretty much it for this video, guys. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.